Alright, what's up YouTube? My name is Bo and I'm a home theater enthusiast. And it's time. It's finally time for me to go to a bigger screen in my dedicated theater room. Now I've had a 92 inch in this room for just, I mean it's almost exactly two years now. Before that, for four years I had an 82 inch screen. And then since from 2005 to 2016, 11 years, I had a 77 inch screen. And believe it or not, I sat almost 13 feet away from a 77. And then I went to an 82. Then I moved my couch up to about 12 feet. And then I went to 92. And my couch, my eyeballs to the screen right now is about, eh, about 11 foot 4, I guess. Somewhere around there. And honestly, I'm very happy with 16 by 9 content. And, you know, I honestly, if movies, if all movies were 16 by 9, I doubt I would go any bigger. But the problem is I, I really feel like I'm lacking with Cinescope movies. So 235 or 239 to 1. I did do a masking um, system for my screen, just real cheap out of uh, styrofoam and velvet. And I like the look of it, but... That equates to about an 87 inch diagonal, uh, 235 to 1 screen, um, which just, it's just a little lacking. So, my options right now are a 100 inch 16 by 9, acoustically transparent, put the center channel below, behind it, put the left and right on the outside of it, um, or a, it's basically a 113 and a half inch, uh, Two, three, five to one silver tickets acoustically transparent woven screen and then put the in wall lcrs behind the screen um, and then do some acoustic panels below some sound treatment and curtains on the sides and then um, a, a valence curtain above and then possibly a stage down the road so that's the plan the first step I already took was ordering a new projector mount. Uh, I have an old mount from 2005. I will show this in another video. It's absolutely abysmal for getting, for making adjustments. It's really just trial and error luck uh, using screws and two poles. It's really terrible. So I bought a fine adjustment. Strong is the brand. Uh, Dream Media AV hooked me up. I couldn't find it anywhere else. It was in their video about a year ago. So I can make precision adjustments and get the image actually square to the screen for once. Um, and also when I move it back, that will open up the ability to go to a bigger screen. So that's the first step. I have a drop ceiling, so I have to do some customizing of the uh, drop ceiling panel. Probably going to have to cut one in half or so and then notch it out for the new mount. But uh, I'm going to do a separate video on that. Um, so my goal was to keep the same size 16 by 9 content and just get a wider screen, basically the same height. Technically, the, the new screen's a half inch shorter, but it's going to be 5 inches off the wall, so that will make up for that distance. So I'm not losing anything with 16 by 9 content, and I'm gaining a lot with Cinescope. I'm a little concerned about my projector's brightness when zooming in. It's a manual zoom too. I'm going to have to manually, anytime I go back and forth, which isn't going to be very often, I'm going to have to manually do it. Um, but if the image isn't, isn't really popping, I have 1,700 hours on my bulb. Tony, shout out to you uh, from Build Montage, was like, yeah, just you replace the bulb. And I was like, duh, brilliant idea. Um, so I'm going to get a new bulb to help lessen the uh, whatever I'm going to lose in light output by zooming in to which will be a zoom in will be like it's 120 inch 16 by 9 to get me to that 113 and a half diagonal 235 to 1. My other goal was to not lose anything audio wise which is going to be tough since I have some really nice Polk tower speakers the RTI 10s from 2005. They sound great with music especially like Acoustic instruments, pianos, like really natural sounding instruments paired with my Yamaha A3080 receiver. Um, music really does shine, so I'm hoping to get somewhere close. I'm not expecting it to be as good. The uh, Polk 265 LS has a ring 
radiating tweeter. These have a silk dome, so I don't know. I'm not matching them, so it's just gonna be a completely new LCR. All the same speakers, all the same height. Um, but before I go all in, I'm just gonna do one speaker mounted and then hear how it sounds compared to these tower speakers. If it's even close, then I'll be happy um, because I'm gonna be gaining so much out, so much more. My front wall is gonna be clean, real, real sleek looking. Do a stage down the road, um, have that wider and more immersive experience that I, you know, shout out to Youth Man, Tony from Build Montage and Audio Advice. You guys have been drilling in my head. The immersive experience of a bigger screen, so uh, we'll see. I do have a, a, a test. I, uh, I taped together four pieces of cardboard, painted it white, and drew lines. So I'm going to, once I get my projector moved, I'm going to re remove my speakers and screen. I'm going to hang this cardboard, which I'm going to show in a, in a little bit. And then zoom in and see what really works for my eyes, because I do get motion sickness uh, from being too close to moving images, so I'm a little worried there. But whatever screen size I settle on, whether it's the 100 inch 16 by 9 or the 113 and a half, uh, 235 to 1, um, I'm definitely going to gain, you know, some image size. So the 100 inch gives me an increase to 16 by 9 and an increased for the scope movies, and then the other one just gives only gives me an increase, a way bigger increase. To Cinescope movies so it's gonna be an interesting uh, experience I've never had a center channel in the middle of the screen I've always had it below the screen which I'll show um, so it's gonna be interesting to find out the end result but I'm looking forward to it now I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna show you the front wall with the LEDs and without and then show you my little test pattern uh, uh, cardboard so I'll see you in a second all right, we're in my workshop, and uh, yeah, this is my my cardboard <laughs> template. I can't even get it all in the uh, in the shot. So this is that's a uh, 104 and a half inches wide, which is about 113 and a half, 114 inch diagonal, and then it's 50 inches tall. So that this will be the 100 inch from the very top. Forget those those lines, and then. The scope so I'm gonna really find out I painted it white because I wanted to I'm gonna watch some content for probably close to a half hour and see if it makes me dizzy um, yeah so I'm gonna hang this on the wall somehow um, it's gonna be jank I'm gonna show this in a complete separate video the whole process the the new mount mounting the projector and testing the two different screen sizes so yeah I just wanted to show this in this video um, now I'm gonna show the actual front wall as it is um, so you can see that and then yeah we'll jump to that right now all right so here's my front wall and as you can see because of how I have it there's like a weird line around it with the LEDs that's because the acoustic panels stick out farther than the screen um, that's gonna be fixed because my screen is gonna be out four or five inches and then the panels will be a little bit behind so that'll be an improvement also if you look at my center channel the tweeter difference between the center channel and the, the left and right speakers is a pretty significant difference it is tilted up not as aggressively probably as it could have been um, honestly when I watch movies I don't even think about is that the audio is coming from below but I've never experienced it being like in the middle of the screen, so that's something uh, I'll have to experience firsthand and see see how it goes. But uh, yeah, it just you know wasn't the perfect situation with the uh, with the acoustic panels and the LEDs. It just doesn't look right. I don't even leave it on much because I don't like that that harsh border. Um, but yeah, this is a look at the front wall. And then, let's see if I can get the projector in view. So here's my projector. It's currently lens to screen is about 11 foot 1 inch. And for most projectors, uh, the minimum range for 120 inch 16 by 9 is 12 foot. 
but my screen is going to be four or five inches off the wall, so at about 12 foot six, which puts the lens, it's going to have to be about right here, which will put the projector uh, in harm's way. If I walk under this couch, I'm going to smash my head on it, so I'm going to have to avoid that because I'm going to also have it be a little bit more off the ceiling so I can have the screen lower. But yeah, so this is this is like honestly I'm going to start removing stuff, remove the projector, remove the screen and acoustic panels. So this is the last time this front wall is going to look the way it does. Um I'm going to turn off the LEDs and remove the masking so you can kind of see the the actual 16 by 9 look and uh we'll do that right now. All right, as you can see, it looks quite a bit bigger in the 16 by 9. Um, but yeah, that was honestly the last time I probably have those Govi lights on. I'll have the screen up. Um, I hope, hopefully with the LED RGB lights, I'm hoping to get like 130, 140, maybe 120 for this screen. It's only a few years old. Um, I, I won't probably won't be shipping it anywhere, but, uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the last look. Um, I've been very happy with the sound. I love two-channel music, but, um, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of that to have a more immersive video experience. And then when I get a new projector in a couple years or next year, um, it'll kind of finalize the deal, the package. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to the update videos. And uh, we'll see you next time.